Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. Time now, 417. Hard to believe summer's officially here there and we're go. dodging rain today. I was going to say, bask in all that sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. Yeah, not fitting the bill for summer weather today, that's yeah. for sure. We're getting the pop-up showers, but uh, definitely avoided the heat today. And that's, that's uh, something that will stick around tomorrow as well. Yeah. So, I guess enjoy it. We I know guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's something to be said for highs not in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, it's not exactly a general theme we see too <laughs> often this time of the year. Our high today so far has been 81 in Huntsville. Average high for today is 90 degrees. So, uh, not ringing in the official start of summer like we typically do around here. Some of you are in not only the 70s, but check out Gunnersville currently at 68 degrees. That's closer to typical lows for this time of the year rather than what we typically see during the middle of the afternoon. Meanwhile, it is a little warmer out west where we have at least low 80s around Decatur and Muscle Shoals at this hour. Those locations have been a little bit drier uh, the past few hours at least. Currently on 31 Triple Doppler, as you can see, we have widespread showers and occasional storms, uh, occasional lightning strikes in uh, northern part of Marshall County and also in northern parts of Lauderdale County. Uh, widespread rain, though, is just going to be our main theme as we head into the late afternoon hours across North Alabama. Not really expecting anything severe. Gusts could occasionally get up to 45 miles per hour with the strongest of the storms that happen to develop late today through tonight and perhaps hail up to pea size. But generally speaking, there is no severe threat uh, for North Alabama the rest of the day today or as we head into tomorrow as well. Future radar shows these showers will continue to drift from the east to the west, wrapping around an area of low pressure located to our south and to our east. As we head into this evening, the showers become a bit more isolated in nature as we lose that daytime heating, but we still could have occasional showers Overnight tonight, and the latest from Future Radar has this rain sticking around near the Tennessee-Alabama state line. So that's an area to watch for potentially some pockets of heavy rain late tonight and early on Thursday. Could be another wet morning dry for some of you, including possibly in Athens as well as Huntsville in the far northern part of Alabama early in the day on Thursday. As we head to tomorrow afternoon, it actually does not look like it's going to be a washout. We'll have a handful of showers and maybe a few storms out there, but does not look like it's going to be as as widespread as what we're seeing right now or what we saw yesterday. So as we head into Thursday evening, most of this activity will wind down. Heading into Friday, you can anticipate more sunshine than we've seen recently, and the rain showers will be few and far between, likely favoring northeast Alabama more so than those of you farther to the west, and that likely gets out of here by the time we get to Friday evening. So as far as additional rain is concerned, upwards of an inch or so possible near the Tennessee-Alabama state line, but most of us are just looking at maybe an additional quarter to half inch of rain over the next couple of days. We will stay cooler than average tomorrow with forecast highs in the mid 70s around Sand Mountain, 81 in Huntsville and 80 tomorrow in Moulton. We get back closer to normal on Friday with highs in the mid 80s for most of us and we keep on climbing as we approach the weekend. 91 on Saturday, likely dry, plenty of sunshine. 92 on Sunday and a good chance again we stay dry during the daylight hours of Sunday. It's going to be Sunday night into Monday that we'll watch out for our next good chance at thunderstorms, some of which could potentially be strong. Once that passes on through, we'll settle back into more sunshine and hot conditions. Looks like a good stretch of at least low 90s coming our way much of next week. Hmm. We'll still so. take it. It's not mid to upper 90s yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Around this time last year, that's where we were yeah. in the throes of was a heat wave. So, you know, mm -hmm. I prefer what we have right now to that. Yeah, Absolutely. Same here.